Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video talking about, um, uh, I think it's the FTC, I think they're called, and um, Copper, which sounds like a British person talking about a, um, a a policeman, because if you don't know, one of, I think it, uh, I'm pretty sure it's British slang, to, well, I, I, know it's, I know it's something British people say, but I don't know if it's inherently British slang, um, but I do know it's a thing British say. Um, instead of calling a policeman a policeman, they'll call him a copper. Um, and I think that might be a British thing. I don't know if it's an American thing. I, uh, I don't, surprisingly, I don't know that much about British slang. Like, a lot. I, I guess it's British slang. I, I don't think I've really heard any American say. Anyway. Um, copper. you never catch me copper. I don't know. Um, feel free to correct me down in the comment section because there's, pro there's probably going to be a lot of things you can correct me on in this video. Um, so my basic understanding of it is um, Copper and the FTC are, were basically um, stopping uh, um, you know, organisations from collecting information on the, uh, children under the ages of 13. At why 13 and not 16 or 18, yeah, I don't know, 13 just seems like, I don't make these rules, um, so don't ask me why, um, and YouTube was stupid, and it um, not only collected data knowingly on f under 13s, but bragged about it to um, advertisers, it was like, yeah, YouTube, not YouTube Kids. YouTube is the uh, biggest, um, like, thing for children under the age of 13 nowadays. This possibly can come back to bite, back to bite us in the asses in the future. Um, so, yeah, it came back and bit them, at, bit them, at them in the ass in the future, which is the now. Um, so, they've been fined to us what's, which is a, what is a large amount of money to them it's practically nothing i mean they're owned by bleeding google who is owned by alphabet who bleeding early have so much money they have more money than me and anybody who subscribes to me will ever see all put together that's how rich alphabet is um and by um you know and can't remember the word, and so is YouTube and Google, because they won't buy off. Anyway, um, so that's my understanding of it, and that's where it would have and should have ended. But YouTube, in its infinite wisdom, decided to throw all the YouTubers on the bus. Like, yeah, take this money. And I said, okay, thanks. And the dads, so they were about to walk out the door, and YouTube's like, oh, also. We now give you the freedom to sue any of our YouTubers for that. Cool. Yeah, so now uploading a YouTube video which would be classified as aimed towards kids can get you legally sued for millions. But, and so far I know this is just an American problem, which is bad if any of your favourite video game commentators or players live in America. Um, because, uh, or animators for that matter, because it, the um, rules for what they define as um, aimed for children is literally anything animated. You could animate a dick swirling around, spinning around in a circle. They technically still class it as for kids. Yeah. I mean, they should have just stuck that kind of Anyway, um, so yeah, like video games, cartoons, like again, anything animated. So all of that's going to be classified for kids. And it's like, okay, so it's classified for kids. So so what? Well, you're not going to be able to search for it. Your if your video is classified as for kids, you're not. People aren't going to be able to search for it. It's not going to be recommended. It's not going to be uh, pushed in notifications, and you lose 90% of your revenue off it. Yeah. Now, again, 
if this is just uh, one again, well, again, I do think it is just going to affect um, YouTubers that are based in America, um, which um, would actually make the big um, whole this the big whole YouTube controversy thing that hasn't negatively impact PewDiePie being as I believe he is based in England. But that may not be true. This could bleed out into other countries. Not excuse me, they're not me them coming to not not like me uploading a video about Kid Trip or anything and then I'm gonna be like sued. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. My god I hope it's not gonna happen. Um We'll buy flying flying spaghetti monster on Mars if that makes anybody else ha anybody happier, but whatever. Buy whatever god you believe in. Money Allah, whatever. Anyway. Um So Um but I, what I think could bleed into other countries is YouTube's laziness with how they organize these videos because they're probably just going to be like okay so we could take the difficult route and it, uh, uh, make it so that only YouTubers are based in uh, America um, ha have to classify their videos as aimed at children or we just do a blanket update through all, all of YouTube and enforce these rules onto every person in the world that uploads a YouTube video which I think is right. I don't think it's probable, but I do think it is possible. Um, I don't think it's probable because uh, um, if everybody in the world had to do that, there would be a lot of videos they then had to um, keep an eye on, and a lot, a lot more than just America, and also um, a lot more money that they would then be losing. But why I think it is possible is because YouTube in the past few days have not demonstrated themselves to be very smart. And they may think, oh, it's just going to be easy just to do blanket update and then just be lazy, which stupid kind of lazy. Um, so, yeah. If the blanket update does happen, then all gaming and animation channels will be hit hard again not being re able to go into recommended not being um no having notification set out 90 percent of uh, ad revenue just gone like that and so on that uh, you know it's just it's like it's gonna kill well yeah, it is going to kill every gaming channel on YouTube. Literally so much to the point where very few gaming channels will be left. And these will just be the ones that would be able to fund it out of their own pocket. Not to toot my own horn here, but channels like mine. My channel, I've, uh, you know, spent, uh, you know, all spent like my free time on it I have uh, um, you know not got any money from it from like uh, kicks not from like um, PayPal uh, what was the um, from like go not none like from videos or go f or like um patreons or um, merchandise I've not got any money from them all my internals just purely being just me sat in, uh, in a room recording a video uh, which reminds me I've been meaning to record a um, setup update so that you might be seeing that hopefully sometime in the future um, channels like mine that aren't reliant on the funding from merchandise uh, ad revenue and patreon aren't they're gonna suffer, but they're go we're going to survive. I am more worried about the bigger channels like Game Theory, who have staff members who are basically reliant on um, ad revenue and um, sponsorships, and you know 
views going on their videos. Um, and it, um, who uh, just like other ch YouTubers have made YouTube their sole income. And yeah, I know it's a bad idea to make YouTube your sole income because it has always been volatile. Like after the first adpocalypse, everybody should have been like, I need a plan B just in case this YouTube thing doesn't work out. Um, so, for all, everybody in America, or uh, that could, that makes kid targeted content, um, I hope you have a plan B. I really do. Because, um, there are a lot of good uh, YouTubers and channels that will be hurt by this. Um, and there's obviously, obviously going to be scummy ones that, um, play, were, you know, would just, uh, put tags in there on their videos are like kid friendly and all that to try and um milk the YouTube system for everything it's worth. Um but even then I just rather them um start making videos with people just like, yeah, these really people don't really make any quality content, they just make their content aimed at kids and you know, and uh, just stopped uns you know, just unsubscribe and stop watching the videos rather than Something like this happened, to be honest. Um, it reminds me of um, one time I was in college. Um, yeah, not too often you're going to hear me talk about college in a fond way. Um, I was in college and um, I was in class and it, uh, my friend asked me, and I had a teacher sat next to me when he asked me this. He asked me um, if I had a big red button and I pressed it and that would make the entire will or world atheist would I do it and I was like I can't remember exactly what I said because this is, a, this is going back three years now I think it was three years ago and I remember saying something to the tone of no because then you haven't really then it's a bit of a hollow victory you haven't really beaten these religions you've just brainwashed or forced everybody following them to stop and it's not a real victory it would be empty and hollow and inhumane and my and the teacher that was um next to me actually was like that was very smart and well thought out isaac okay like, yeah uh, and the sa and you could say say the same thing as with this. I'd rather these channels, you know, just fail because the, their quality, the content of the quality of content they are making, is like I know that's funny for me to say because my chat videos aren't really um, that high quality, but they've always just been me just having a bit of fun, just like you know, forward experiments, talking to you guys about something I care about. And just showing off games I love, um, and talking about why I love them. Um, and I've not really tried to game the system. I've not been clickbaity, and I've not really touched um, controversial subjects all that much. Like if I, I've, I think I've said this from day one. If I wanted to get popular quickly, I would just hate on Velocify. And I've made videos defending him, which. And agreeing with him, which is basically the fastest way to get me boycotted and um, just get a bunch of hate. I've and I've taken the middle road on um, controversial subjects like um, with um, Saga of a Card versus Thunderfoot. I took the middle road, saying they're both a bit right and they're both a bit wrong. They've Thunderfoot is within his rights to say that he disagrees with making jokes about that but I can see why um, Sargon of a card uh, um, isn't happy that he's that he had to make the video that he made the video and then I also see that Sargon of a card didn't really point out that didn't actually bring up the clips where he said he from the foot took him out took him out of context so there, there was a bit of half a dozen to one six to the other anyway um, so, yeah, I just made the content I wanted to make, um, 
I've never claimed to be a great channel. I've always just went, this is just a fun little thing I've been doing. Um, to like, maybe make some people laugh, teach somebody something, or just to help me cl cling on to sanity as long as I can by um, just ranting out all the stuff, that, ranting about all the stuff that makes uh, me really peed off in the world. Um, I haven't really made a rant video in a while. I like making those rant videos. Um, so, yeah, being as I am based in the UK, if you couldn't tell, um, I'll probably continue on making videos, even if um, YouTube just does a blanket update and, you know, that uh, and whenever you make a video now, you have to say if it's targeted towards children or not. Um, but I really want to say if you want your favorite America based channels to continue on in the future go give them money like set up a, go to their patreon so and if they if they have a tier where where um you get videos early pay for that tier that way and just help out all of the creators that you can that will be hurting and suffering from uh, just YouTube screwing them over basically um, and yeah there's not really what I can do unless anyone can do unless they want to put um, this as their intro song shitty shitty bum bum shitty shitty well uh, that's, a, that's a little bit too tame shitty shitty bum well maybe like um Shit dick, shit dick, shitty, shitty, shit dick, or something like that. If they want to make that, like, play their channel intro, like, if if they take it to court, and it's like, this channel is clear, this video is clearly aimed at children, and you just, and then you, and you just put, play the first five seconds, like, okay, um, shitty dicky dick, shit dick, shit dick, dicky dicky, shit dick, and it's like, and then could you play, like, would you show that to your children? And of course, and the, and he'd be like, nope. I was like, I'm out. Then. Um, You've got no case. Um, but yeah, I really, unless you want to all immigrate to like the UK, I mean, we've got shitty weather, but they're not as extreme as American weather. And Canada's just cold all the time. So you probably wouldn't want to go there. And um, you probably couldn't get past Trump's wall to get into Mexico. Uh, yay, topical jokes. Hmm. And then the French. You just, yeah. I don't think they things. Yeah, so. Anyway. Um, long, basically, go support all your favourite America based creators by supporting them on Patreon, buying the merch, and just helping them stay afloat for. A little bit longer. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, I just want to add this a little bit onto the end. Um, that's all the way down there. When I went to upload this video, um, I decided to use the new uploading thing, and yeah, it's even giving me over here um, the option to label it as made for kids or no, it's not made for kids. So. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like they're just going to be a, doing a blanket update across all of YouTube instead of just keeping it to America. Okay, goodbye.